Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another scripting tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about data stores. So what a data store is, is basically uh, how you can uh, save a player's data. So let's say you have a leaderboard um, for the player's cash. So let's say they, for example, you give them 5,000 cash. So a data store, if the player leaves and rejoins, it will save that 5,000 cash and give it back to the player when he rejoins. So let's get started into a scripting one. So we want to place a script in server script service. We can name this data store uh, and we could start. So we want to start off with making our data store. So we can type local data store equals game get service data store service. Then we could do get uh, get data store. And then inside of here, uh, this will be our data store. So this will be super secret code. So you want to basically type something inside of here. This will be basically the password to your data store. So um, it's also going to define your data store. So if someone knows what this is, they will basically have the ability to change their data. So you want to keep it a secret and you want to make it like kind of hard, I guess. Also makes the data store. So if you change it to, for example, this uh, will be super secret code Two, it will make a new data store. So you want to make it and not change it. Now we can uh, make a part the part of the script that will uh, save it. So we will write a function to uh, detect when a player joins. So we'll do game.players.player added connect function player. So now what we want to do is we want to start off with the leaderboard or leader stats so we can start off by making a uh, folder so we do uh, local leader stats is equal to instance dot new folder and then we can put the folder inside of the player and we could make our data store so let's say um let's say you want to make a cache value so we can do local cache is equal to instance dot new uh, number value because uh, whoops number value and then we could put that number value inside a leader stats So you could uh, name this whatever you want. It doesn't matter um, And then basically this is gonna be the type of value that you're saving So if you do a pool value, that's basically true or false or yeah true or false on or off uh, number value is for well numbers a string values for strings I'm not gonna explain what the different values are but this is going to be your value. Next, we want to name it. So we could do cash.name is equal to cash, or you can do whatever you want it to be. You could do coins or credits, uh, money, whatever you want. I'm just going to stick with cash. And we could also do, um, if, if you want the player to, let's just say, start with 20 cash, you could do cash.value is equal to 20. If you don't want him to start with 20 cash, you don't have to add this. Um, we're also going to type leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats. Um, and that should be it for the simple part of it. So we have our leader stats and our cash. So now if we press play, we should have cash. And there we go. We have cash. Oh, and by the way, I bought this JJ's top hat. So. I know my intro was probably still blue and my channel icon is probably also still blue at the time of uploading this, but everything will be changed in the future because this is my new avatar. But um, yeah, there we go. As you see, we have cache. So now we want to save the data. So we can go down a few lines and we can make a new part and we can name this data. Now in the data, we want to start off by making a variable that will basically be our loaded data. So we can type uh, cache data and we don't want to do equals to anything, just local cache data. Then we want to do local success and then local fail or error message. And we want to make this equal to pcall function. So we want to do that. Now what we want to do is we want to do we want to change our cache data. So we will change our cache data to um, our data store where we're saving it. So we will do data store um, get async, and then we want to type basically the player's key. So the key is basically 
the player's saved data or I, I'm basically we would do pl something you should do is probably player dot user ID and then you want to do dot dot uh, your data store name or your values name so cache so this will be the key so basically if you're saving a few data let's just say you're saving uh, the level data and the uh, um, I don't know let's just say deaths data so you would change these to other keys so you would do level and you would change this one to deaths but for our cache we're gonna make it cache now what we want to do is we want to basically check if it worked so we can do if success then so this will basically detect if it worked so if, if it's success uh, then we want to save the data which we could do by um, cache.value is equal to cache data and then we could type else meaning if it wasn't successful if there was an error we could do warn uh there was an error and then we could type uh for the player so we could do uh actually there was an error and then we could type dot dot error message so it will basically print or it will warn you don't have to do warn you could do print but warn basically just uh makes the text orange so it will basically say there was an error and then it will tell you what the error is so this is the saving part of the data store complete. Now we want to move on to the basically. Uh, now we have to move on to well, I guess the exporting or no, the giving part. Um, adding whatever. <laughs> so um, adding this part, we will basically give the player or no, sorry. Um, this part is adding, and this part will be saving because I'm um, I'm sorry. But it doesn't matter, it, you don't have to change the script at all. I'm just changing uh, uh, the note. So now we could do game.players.player removed, removing. So um, basically, if the when the player leaves, um, we could do connect function, basically the same. Now we want to start off with local success and error message. Actually, you can just copy this right here. So you can copy this. Uh, sorry, this, and you could paste it right here. Now we want to change it a tiny bit, so we'll uh, change this first off. We'll do data store set async. So we're we're setting the data, and then we want to uh, basically put in the key. So you can copy the key, which is basically this. Uh, I'll just type it: player dot user id dot dot cache, and then we want to basically do a path to what we want to save. So we could do player dot leader stats dot cash dot value so that's basically our cash value and now if it was a success we could just print uh, data has been saved successfully uh, and if it was an error we could just leave it the same thing so uh, there was an error uh, saving there was an error oops saving the data and then over here, there was an error loading the data. So if you want to test this out in studio, it might not work, but um, my game isn't published, but you're going to have to turn on API services to test it in studio. But we can test this out in game. So I'm going to publish this game to Roblox and I will show you it working. So here we go. Um, we are in game now. Uh, I'm going to change my cache value. So there we go. Now I give myself 100 cash. So if I leave the game now and I rejoin, my data should be saved. And there we go. You see, I joined back and I have 100 cash. Now I'm just going to give myself some more cash again. So value. So we'll give myself... Um, I'm sorry, I messed up. I forgot to do dot cash dot value. So I will give myself one uh, ten thousand cash. And now, if I leave and rejoin, you will see that it's saved. So I'm going to leave. And there you go. As you see, my data saved. I have ten thousand cash. Now I know the base plate looked different. That's because I put this data store script inside of a different game, like an older game of mine that basically had nothing in it. 
So here is the script. If this video gets 50 likes, I will release the code and link it in the description. Otherwise, you will have to make your own version, but uh, that's totally fine. So uh, here's a close up on the code. Uh, and make sure to uh, either make your own custom key. You don't have to. So you could do uh, player dot user ID dot dot cache, or you could do dot dot space cache, or you could do dot cache dot the user ID again. Um, but you definitely have to make your own data store data store. So make sure to type your own custom password here i guess and make sure it's secure so if this video helped you out at all consider subscribing we just recently hit 1000 and i also want to thank you guys for 1000 subscribers i'll be releasing more videos so if you subscribe make sure to turn the notifications on so you get notified when i release new videos and i'm also going to be hosting a game jam and the winners will be getting 1000 robux and third and second place will also get some prizes more info on that will be released in the future. But for now, this is it. I hope this video helped you out. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and see ya.